Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some explosive news that's been making waves across social media and the headlines. Yes, we're talking about none other than Sean Diddy Combs. Rumors are swirling that a high court judge has allegedly issued a subpoena to the music mogul related to his supposed links with cartel members. Stick around as we dive into all the juicy details. If you're new to our channel support by subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. Alright, let's break this down. Reports have surfaced that Diddy is facing serious allegations involving his connections to several cartel members. This isn't just some gossip, a high court judge has apparently issued a subpoena, which means there's a legal basis for these claims. But what exactly does this mean for Diddy? A subpoena is a legal document that orders an individual to testify or produce evidence in a court case. So, the fact that Diddy received one suggests that investigators are looking into his potential involvement with organized crime. But how did we get here? Sean Combs, better known as Diddy, is not just a music icon, he's a cultural phenomenon. With hits like I'll Be Missing You and Bad Boy for Life, Diddy has built an empire. But over the years, he's also faced his fair share of controversies. From his business ventures to his personal life, Diddy has always been in the spotlight. But this? This is a whole new level of scrutiny. So, what's the connection to the alleged cartel links? Reports suggest that Diddy's name came up in investigations linked to drug trafficking organizations. It's crucial to note that just because a name surfaces doesn't mean there's guilt. However, these allegations can have serious implications for his career and reputation. Cartels are known for their criminal activities, and any association can be damaging. This isn't just about Diddy, it raises questions about how deep these connections might go and who else might be involved. Reactions have been swift. Social media is buzzing with opinions. Some fans are in disbelief, while others are speculating about the potential ramifications for Diddy's career. Industry insiders are also weighing in, suggesting that this could impact his business ventures, including his various music labels and fashion lines. The music industry is no stranger to drama, but this level of legal trouble is unprecedented for someone of Diddy's stature. So, what happens now? Diddy will likely have to respond to the subpoena, and we can expect legal battles ahead. It's important for viewers to remember that everyone is innocent until proven guilty, but the mere existence of a subpoena means that something is afoot. We'll be keeping a close eye on this story as it develops, and we'll bring you updates as soon as we have them. To help us unpack these serious allegations, we're bringing in a legal expert who specializes in criminal law. Let's welcome thanks for having me. This situation is indeed concerning. A subpoena itself doesn't imply guilt but indicates that authorities are investigating a potential link between Diddy and organized crime. That's a crucial point. What kind of legal repercussions could Diddy face if these allegations are proven true? Well, if there's evidence of wrongdoing, it could lead to criminal charges, fines, or even imprisonment. However, it's essential to remember that the legal process can be lengthy and complicated. Thank you, it's always helpful to get that insight. It sounds like we're in for a long legal battle. Now, let's talk about the impact on Diddy's career. He has built a massive empire over the years, from music to fashion and even vodka brands. How might this scandal affect his business ventures? Reputational damage can be significant. Companies may distance themselves from Diddy, impacting endorsements and partnerships. Additionally, fans and consumers might reconsider their support. It's fascinating, and a bit alarming, to see how quickly public perception can shift. Diddy has always been a polarizing figure, but this could change everything. Let's look at some similar cases in the entertainment industry where artists face legal troubles. For example, we've seen figures like Should Knight in 699 and deal with serious allegations that impacted their careers. These situations often lead to a mix of public sympathy and backlash. It'll be interesting to see how Diddy navigates this storm. We also reached out to some fans and industry insiders to hear their thoughts on this controversy. Let's check out what they had to say. It's shocking. I never thought Diddy would be involved in something like this. It's a reminder that the music industry can be a dangerous place. You never really know what's happening behind the scenes. The responses are quite mixed, and it shows just how impactful this news is. As we wrap up, it's essential to approach these allegations with caution. 
While the news is sensational, we must wait for more information and not jump to conclusions. We'll be monitoring this story closely, and we'll keep you updated with any new developments. Remember, this is a complex issue that involves real lives and serious implications. In the situation involving a subpoena related to alleged links to cartel members, Diddy could consider several potential legal defenses. Hash number one. Lack of knowledge. Defense. Diddy could argue that he has no knowledge of any illegal activities or connections to cartel members. If he can demonstrate that he was unaware of any wrongdoing, this could potentially absolve him of responsibility. He may assert that any associations or interactions with individuals linked to cartel activities were purely incidental and did not involve him in any illegal actions. If the allegations stem from statements made in public or social media, Diddy could invoke his First Amendment rights, arguing that he has a right to express himself without facing legal repercussions. Diddy could challenge the sufficiency of the evidence presented against him. If investigators cannot provide concrete proof of his involvement or connections to criminal activities, he could argue for dismissal of the case. He might present evidence of his positive reputation and contributions to society, arguing that these allegations are unfounded and damaging to his character. Diddy could claim that any alleged connections were based on mistaken identity or misinterpretation of his actions or relationships. If applicable, Diddy could argue that he was coerced into any actions or associations due to threats or intimidation from others involved. He might exploit procedural errors in how the subpoena was issued or how evidence was collected, which could lead to the dismissal of the case. If certain individuals are providing testimony against him, Diddy could work to undermine their credibility, showing that their motives are questionable or that they have a history of dishonesty. He could argue that the investigation is more about sensationalism than actual wrongdoing, advocating for the dismissal of the case based on public interest and the lack of substantial evidence. Each of these defenses would depend on the specifics of the case and the evidence presented. Legal counsel would be crucial in navigating these complexities. Diddy could employ several strategies to effectively challenge the credibility of witnesses against him conduct thorough background checks on the witnesses to uncover any criminal history, bias, or personal interests that might affect their testimony. If a witness has a history of dishonesty or criminal behavior, this could undermine their credibility. Examine the witness statements for inconsistencies. If witnesses have provided conflicting accounts of events, Diddy's legal team can highlight these discrepancies to suggest that their testimony is unreliable. Investigate and present any potential motives for witnesses to lie or exaggerate. This could include financial incentives, personal vendettas, or pressure from law enforcement. Utilize expert witnesses who can provide testimony on the psychology of memory and perception. They can explain how witnesses might misremember details or be influenced by external factors. Present evidence that contradicts the witness's character or reputation. If a witness has a history of making false claims or engaging in questionable behavior, this can be used to challenge their reliability. During depositions or court proceedings, Diddy's legal team can engage in rigorous cross-examination, pressing witnesses on their statements and revealing any weaknesses or uncertainties in their accounts. Gather documentation or alibi evidence that contradicts the witness's claims. If Diddy can prove he was elsewhere at the time in question, it can cast doubt on the witness's reliability. Investigate potential relationships or biases that witnesses may have against Diddy. If a witness has a personal connection to the case or has expressed negative opinions about him, this can be highlighted in court. Challenge the methods used by witnesses to gather information or evidence, questioning whether their conclusions were based on solid reasoning or speculation. If witnesses have made public statements about the case or Diddy that are inconsistent with their testimony, this can be used to challenge their credibility. By employing a combination of these strategies, Diddy's legal team could build a strong case to question the credibility of witnesses, potentially weakening the prosecution's position and supporting his defense.